that I just actually discovered on uh, TradingView here. So, you know, we talk a lot about key levels. So, um, we use the horizontal line tool for this, right? So, you select the horizontal line, and I'm just going to. I have a template here that I'm using yellow or orange to indicate. And I set up a template. You can style. I like the text to be on the bottom right. And I choose an opacity on a dark background of 50. I do the same thing for the line. I use the thin line. Okay, this, is, this should be 50, but whatever. Um, set the color to the same color. And you can save a template. I call this key level. And you can just put a label key level, right? So this part you just set up the first one. What I found out is that if you duplicate this clone, <laughs> it's somehow smart enough to find the next target level for you. I, this is amazing. I just discovered this. And if I just do clone, it's, it's pretty much finding the targets very close to where I would draw them myself. I'm going to do this again, clone. And you can kind of, this is pretty, pretty powerful stuff, guys. I mean, look at this. It's, it's like it's literally finding the target levels. I mean, you may want to adjust them a tad, but, you know, I'm looking at the weekly chart, and these, these levels are pretty close to where I would put them. Maybe I would move that just a little bit over there so that they're a little lower. That we hit the target. And you can see we're breaking through on this weekly candle here which is why I'm looking at Link right now. I've been in Link for a while, but you can see that we're on a trajectory here for Chainlink. It's, it's been on Coinbase for a while. It's been on Binance back since 2017. And, and honestly, this was, this was off the radar. This did not hit like a, a crazy run up like a lot of the other altcoins did, but we've had this nice, gradual, slow and steady rise on Link. And, you know, it came on I think it came on Coinbase somewhere back in 2018, and it's just, I mean, we've had some good run-ups here, but you can see um, this coin is, is poised to make some really big moves, especially as we approach these levels here and, and, and do the new all-time high. So, you know, you can hit, hit these levels here, and you can set alerts. Um, if you have no other way of doing this, uh, now there are limitations on your free TradingView account to how many um, uh, alerts you can have active, but there there are at least a few, and then you may want to upgrade to a paid account because it's worth it. So what you can do is set an alert. Uh, this you have to uh, right click, add alert, and you can do only once, once per bar, you can select crossing up, so only if it crosses above the line, not below. Um, you can do closing, I think. So I, I would look for crossing up, and then once per bar close. The reason I like that is that it, it automatically, like if I'm on the weekly time frame, it will only alert me if I get a close on that weekly bar above that line, crossing above the line. Um, actually, I'm going to cancel this because I want these alerts on the daily. That's when you really know you've got a confirmation. So we haven't closed this daily yet, but uh, we're already above it. So I would have already need to have set the alert, but I can try it and see if we get the alert. Um, add alert. Once per bar close, and I want crossing. Uh, you can even do moving up by percentages and all these, but I, I generally just use either crossing or crossing up or down, depending on what I'm looking for. You can actually have it send an email. There's a little bit of a delay there, but on the one day, that's sufficient enough to get your confirmation. Um, there's other advanced things you can do, but for now, I'm just going to set this in the app. Uh, it'll show a pop-up, and if you have the mobile app, it will actually pop up on your phone. So I do recommend downloading the mobile app for that purpose. So even if I close out this tab on my browser, I'll still get the alert on my phone. But you do need to be signed into the app on your phone. But it's free. You can use your free account. So.
I'm going to go ahead and create this alert. Yeah, because the moment it's based on is linear anyway. Oh, sorry. That's actually helpful because I'm on a log scale, linear scale, when I meant logs. Log. That actually wasn't really effective at all. It's a little warning because generally you're looking at the, the not the logarithmic scale when you're actually trading, but sometimes I'll use it when I'm zoomed out and I didn't realize I was on that. So, But you can see that these these levels are still accurate here. In fact, they may have been more accurate if I would have just left them alone. Okay. So yeah, key levels, alerts, very helpful. I highly recommend you use them.